I'm Walter Weber. I work for Robert E. Mason Company as the IT director. R.E. Mason Company of the Carolinas is the manufacturer's rep for Emerson Process in the Carolinas. We engineer and provide process solutions for our customers, which are power industries, pharmaceutical, biotechnical, chemical, and textile for the most part. Robert E. Mason Company likes to be in a position where we can respond before the customer realizes that you know, we've had to go out and do something. Um, we like to be very proactive. We like to be you know, ahead of the game wherever possible. We don't like having to have a customer wait for us because point blank, there's enough competition out there. If they're waiting, they're looking. The connection became an issue with the bandwidth requirements. We do a lot of Word, Excel, and email back and forth um, using the SIFS protocol, which is what Microsoft uses to transport and open those kind of files. But the performance from the SIFs and stuff was not there. People were complaining it was taking 45 minutes, 60 seconds to open a file. So we started looking at WAN optimization and caching to reduce the bandwidth requirements and still allow the employees to be able to open files in a timely manner, be able to transfer information back and forth. After we installed the Blue Code appliance, anytime they would go back to open a file a second time, the increase went from 40, 60 second open time to maybe three to four seconds open time. The employees started mentioning to me that, yeah, it was a lot faster, it was more friendly to use. Um, they didn't feel like they were having to sit there and struggle to do their daily work. I was impressed by the fact that I would be able to get one appliance that not only took care of the optimization, but the web content filtering. The remote offices have direct access to the internet, but by having the Blue Code appliance there doing the web content filtering and basing those policies off of the Charlotte policies, I can go in and open a site or block a site in Charlotte. It updates the remote appliance and we're they're able to directly access the internet, whereas before we installed the Blue Coat, we were having to backhaul or bring the internet traffic down to Charlotte to send out to the internet. So we're basically doing a lot of backhauling prior to the Blue Coat device for internet so that we can control and monitor that um, access to make sure there was nothing inappropriate being done, which has not been an issue, but for a number of reasons you have to monitor that and be able to prove that you're maintaining certain levels. I guess my advice to companies looking at doing away with backhauling the internet traffic is it's a matter of um, becoming comfortable with the Blue Coat appliance and seeing what it does. When you recognize how well it monitors and filters and you can set up alerts to tell you if something's going on that you don't want to go on, it becomes pretty apparent that it's easier and quicker for the users to be able to go directly than to backhaul. The other advantage is you reduce your bandwidth requirement between your remote office and your central office and that allows you to pick up more speed for your SIFs and such like that. The biggest things for me in looking at WAND optimization was ease of use. Um, I looked at a number of different products. I looked at some Cisco products, um, a couple other manufacturers, and a lot of them required a lot of input and management time. And to be honest, I'm a small staff, it's myself and two other people, so we're really not equipped to have somebody spend full time looking at WAND optimization on a daily basis. So I was really looking for an appliance that I could set into the network, set it up, that would send me alerts if there were an issue, but basically I was looking for a set and forget. The biggest surprise we saw was how much of the streaming audio was being used in peer-to-peer. -peer. With the Blue Code appliance, what we found is that we can go in and definitely shut down protocols that we don't need to be running between the buildings or for protocols that are less sensitive or critical to the business, we can set it up so that you know the protocol's up and running, it gets as much bandwidth as it needs until a business critical protocol starts to suffer. So you need to be on the spot and have your resources in place and ready to go and be efficient. Nobody wants to wait on the phone while you're trying to look up information because it takes you 30 or 40 seconds to get to the information. People expect information to be available as, you know, as close to instantaneous as possible.